in this video I want to show you how you can draw a dot plot by hand and also then later on using Excel. So this is the foot length of 20 year 9 students uh, measured in centimeters. So let's, so this is a number line I have drawn from minus 10 to 30. So the, we want to draw the dot plot. So uh, this is say foot length, the title of the number line is foot length measure foot length in centimeters. Okay, so we want to plot the dot plot. Dot plot is uh, the plot of dots. Okay, so the first student, uh, these are 20 students, is 25. So what you do is you simply plot a dot or a cross, whatever you want to do. So let's uh, plot a dot. So let me make this a bit uh, thicker. Okay, so, let's, so that you can see the dots clearly. So let us use this color. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good enough. So this is a dot. Okay, so uh, the first, okay, I need to go mm, make this. Okay, so this is a dot. Okay, so the first is 25. So you put a dot over 25. So this is 25. The next is 24. So this is 24. The next is 17. Okay, then you got the next 24, you put a dot over the first dot. So these are two 24s, and then you got 23. Uh, then you got 25, so you dot, put a dot over 25. Then you got 21, 23, 28, and uh, 24, so put a dot over 24. Then you got two 25s, so one, two 25s, one 27, then you got a 13 here. Uh, then you got a 24, so one more dot over 24. Then you got three 25s, so you got one, two, three 25s. Then you got a 28, and then you got a 25. So this is a simple dot plot. So let me write the title here. So this is the dot plot. For any graph, you need to label the axis and the title. So these are two things that you should never forget. Dot plot of foot length of foot length uh, of year nine students of year nine students. Okay, so this is enough. So this is the dot plot of year nine students measured in. So let me write year nine students in centimeters. So this is how you do it by hand. So we can do the same thing using Excel. That's what I'm going to show you. So this, so let's talk about the dot plot. So the dot plot tells us many things. It tells us that this is an extreme value, 13, from just looking at this, you can say this is an extreme value or an outlier or outlier. Now, this is away from most of the data. So you can see most of the data is in this range. Okay, so yeah, let me draw a box here. So, that, so this is, you can say most of the data is in this area. That's between 21 and 28 and so you can say 21 between 21 to 28 is most of the data and this 113 and 17 are seems to be outlier okay so your mean and median your mean and median should be you can estimate by just looking at the dot plot mean and median is the value of center. So mean and median should be between 21 to 28. So I hope you know how to calculate mean and median. So for those who don't know, so mean is by calculating, you add the values up and divide by the number of values. Okay. So if you want to this, do the same thing on Excel. So this is what I've done is I have uh, entered these data. So this is 25, 24, you got 20 students, okay? So here you got 20 students. Now to draw a dot plot, Excel doesn't have the 
option of drawing dot plot, but we're going to trick the Excel and draw the dot plot. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a scatter plot, and from this, from the scatter plot, we're going to draw the dot plot. I'll explain what I mean. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to sort this data. Now to sort this data, you highlight the data like this, highlight, and then you go to data. If you go to data, press, uh, you can see on the right, on the top ribbon, you've got data there. If you click on data, and then if you go A to Z, this is sorting from the smallest to the largest. So click on that, so this, and then you continue with the current X selection. They will ask you, so you click on this, continue with the current selection, and sort. So this is sorted from the smallest to the largest okay so uh, so you got 113 so let's go back to the dot plot can you see you got 113 uh, 228 117 and so on okay now I want to make a frequency here now I'll explain what frequency means frequency in simple language means you got one student with the length of 13, 1 with 17, 1 with 21, 2 with 23, 1, 2, 3, 4 with 24, and so on. So this is the frequency. So I'll show you what I mean by frequency. So let me go to home, and I want in the middle. OK, so here you have to use a if-then formula. So I'll press. So Excel will do anything that you tell it to do, but you have to tell what it should be doing. So this is called an if-then formula. So if you go press equal, then press E, type in if and bracket. Okay, I'll explain what I mean. So if bracket, now this is called B3. Can you see? This, when you click on this, this is B and this is 3. So this is how... Excel reads, these are called cells. So if B3 is equal to B2, so this is B2. So what we are saying is if this is equal to this, that means if 13 is equal to 17. Okay, sorry, I had to start with one year. So you have to put one year, start with one, and in the next cell, you press if, if bracket, this, that is B3, is equal to B2. So we are uh, telling Excel that if this B3 is equal to B2, uh, then what you have to do, this comma means then, you have to go C1, C2, sorry. This is C2 plus 1. If you don't understand the formula, uh, don't worry about it. You'll understand later once you get the numbers. And then you press, again, comma, 1. Okay. You can pause the video. So this is the formula that you have to put. If B3 is equal to B2, comma, then C2 plus 1, or this second comma means or, you start with 1. Okay. So press Enter. You got 1. So what does this 1 mean? So this 17... The frequency of 17 is only 1, okay? And if you click on that, and if you drag it down, drag it down, and you'll get, okay. So what is this telling you? Okay, so can you see here? So you're 13, you got 1, 17, you got 1, 21, you got 1, 23, this is the first frequency, this is the second. 24, 1, 2, 3, 4. Can you see there are 24? For 25, it will go up to 8. And 27, you got 1 and 28, 2. So we're going to use this to draw the, uh, uh, sorry, dot plot. So highlight uh, both the columns uh, from year to year. And then you go to insert, and then you go to scatter graph. Press scatter, and you press on this. So this will give you, this is not exactly uh, the dot plot. So this is a scatter graph. So we have changed this, we have used scatter graph to plot the dot plot. So now, so click on this, I don't need this, so click on that and press delete. And I want to change this title, so you type in this is dot plot, dot plot of foot length 
of year nine students in centimeters. Enter. So this is your title, and yeah, this is the frequency. Okay, so yeah, this is a good. So let me make this smaller so that you can see. Uh, okay, so this is the dot plot. So let me make it a slightly bigger. So you can uh, edit these if you want to change the uh, from instead of 0 to 30, if you want to make it from 12 to 30, 10 to 30. So click on axis, format axis. I want to go from, say, 10 to 30. 10 to 30, OK. So this is, OK, and I want in the scale of 1. So format axis. This is you know, fixed. This is a scale of, say, 1. OK, and close. So this is the dot plot. So here you can, here you can see 13, you got 1. 17, you got 1. 12, you got 1. 25, you got 8 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is how you draw dot plot using Excel.